Masai Ironworks is one of Matsui's prime subcontractors. The company has 40 employees and produces machine parts for Matsui. Masai Ironworks is located in Osaka, Japan's second largest industrial city, and home to many of Japan's small and medium-sized manufacturing firms. Even though you've done a great job up to now, I'm asking you to work even harder. We've come through other tough times together, like the oil crisis and the Nixon shock. But this is a tighter situation than ever before, and I just want to impress this on everybody. It's not enough to think, well, Matsui will get the orders, so all we have to do is produce the products. Everyone, not just the president and the directors, must be aware of the seriousness of this situation. Well, with the Matsui Manufacturing Company going abroad, we feel left behind, and we're very insecure about that. Matsui moves on to visit another subcontractor, Kuwata Industries a high-technology welding operation with 15 employees. Relations between the two companies date back two generations. For Matsui, informing his old friend of the changes facing both their companies is a difficult task. You're going to have to be prepared for a short slump. But eventually, we're going to need to combine our knowledge in order to make products that can compete in both price and quality. Going abroad may add 50% to our costs, considering the exchange rate, and customs and distribution costs could double that. We're going to have to discuss this from now on and solve it together. I can't say that I'm not worried. Until now, Matsui's production was all domestic, so those of us in the Osaka area could always count on getting plenty of orders. If they move production overseas, our share will shrink. I'm worried that the overall amount of work will decrease as well. Following in the wake of larger Japanese corporations, medium-sized companies like Matsui Manufacturing constitute the second wave of Japanese business moving abroad. Shigeaki Gondo is a 44-year-old Matsui employee. He has returned to his hometown to visit his family shrine and to say goodbye to family and friends. Gondo will be moving to the United States, where he will take charge of Matsui America. It will be Matsui's first overseas production facility and the first step to a global business strategy aimed at increasing annual sales to $6.2 million. The history of small business in Japan is one of unbelievably rapid technological change. New processes are developed, new products are demanded. Market conditions shift. Koichi Wakta, president of the Johoku Industrial Company in Hamamatsu, 
has survived and prospered for more than 40 years in Japan's competitive manufacturing sector. This car has great acceleration. Here's the secret. It's attached here and sends fuel to the engine through a strong magnetic field. It helps burn the fuel more efficiently and so the acceleration is improved. It's patented in America and in France. I invented it myself. Small industries made a major, if unsung, contribution to Japan's recovery after the Second World War. While the government directed and controlled the growth of basic industries, such as steel and shipbuilding, smaller businesses played a major role in the recovery of light industry. Mr. Wakuda's first product after the war was a press for extracting sugar from sugar cane. As the bicycle industry recovered, Wakata introduced a second product, a new drum-type bicycle brake, modeled after the brakes on an automobile. By 1967, the Japanese economy was booming and the first domestically produced Japanese computer was presented at a national business exposition. The information age had arrived. Wakuda staked the future of his company on the manufacture of computer components, investing heavily in the precision equipment necessary to compete in the age of high technology. With the invention of his fuel saving device, Mr. Wakuda finally realized his dream to develop a patented product of his own. One business usually lasts me about 30 years. I originally started with a process for tatami edging, which was quite successful for a 30-year period. We manufactured the bicycle brake for 30 years, but the bicycle industry is now in decline. I'm in the computer component business but now I've developed this. I think it will really sell. Just think of how many cars there are in the world. Today, small businesses all over Japan are searching for ways to cope with the high value of the yen. For some, the answer lies in moving overseas, where they hope to recreate, on a global scale, the parent-child relationships that have characterized Japanese manufacturing for the last 30 years. But others, like Delta Research in Yamato City, seek survival in ever higher cycles of specialization. Delta Research has 16 employees and is the only company in the world with the technology to plate this amorphous copper alloy. It took company president Masami Kobayashi five years to develop the technique. He predicts that for many Japanese businesses, developing and patenting specialized products will prove the best path to future success. The most important reason for applying for a patent is because it protects the technology we develop. Presently, we have nearly 50 patents in six countries. The way for small companies to survive is to attack Presently, we have nearly 50 patents in six countries. The way for small companies to survive is to attack the larger company's weak points. However, this is not possible unless you have something that will lead to future growth. We have to be on the lookout for those opportunities. Japanese small companies may soon be separated into two groups. One group will be modeled after the present type of small company, which operates under a parent company's orders. The other will supply its parts to several parent companies. By developing its own technologies and production methods, these small companies will deal with larger corporations on a more equal footing. Increasing automation, the growth of the information and service sectors, and foreign competition will challenge Japan's small businesses. But for entrepreneurs with business acumen and technical skill, the changes in Japan's business climate will afford new opportunities. 
Okano Kogyo, develops special dyes for casting in its downtown Tokyo factory. With only four employees, the company has annual sales of $25 million. Now I am more than happy. People may resent it, and they talk about the strong yen and so on, but I think from now on, the answer is in creating as well as using new technology. At this point in Japan, you can't do business with products that have to be transported by truck. You've got to have one that will fit into a pocket and still bring in a big profit.